After 151 years, court sessions are back at America's most haunted house, the Whaley House in Old Town. We spoke with Judge Whitney about this historic day. This is what my colleagues looked like in 1871 after about a four-day ride from Los Angeles. My, my commute was 10 minutes, so it was a little easier. I went on a tour uh, actually to retrieve some archives for our new courthouse that we put in a time capsule and I thought wouldn't it be cool if I could actually sit and preside in a case in this courtroom and uh, my girlfriend uh, Nancy approached the Whaley House people and she knew some of them and uh, they were equally as excited so we thought what a great historic significance if we could actually reopen it and we have we've actually designate this as an official superior court just for the day. Let's go back 151 years and what court was like back then. Absolutely. So the original courthouse was actually a few blocks down the street from here. And as San Diego was growing, they wanted a bigger venue to hold trial. So Thomas Whaley, who built this house in 1857, had a very large space and he leased it out to the county from 1869 to 1871 and it became San Diego's second courthouse. There's a lot of stories behind the house being haunted. The main one is related to what happened before the house was built. So in 1852, on this site, they used to have the gallows, the execution grounds. So people went to court down the street, and then if they were found guilty and they were sentenced to hang, they were brought to this site and they were executed. Uh, there's a story that actually says that Thomas Whaley was present at the last execution on site in 1852. Judge, how do you feel about being in a haunted house right now, but also doing what you love? You know, I get asked that a lot. Uh, I don't really think of it as being a haunted house. I think of it as being just the courtroom that is mine for the day, which is a pretty exciting thing. From the historic Whaley House in Old Town, I'm Casey McKinnon, KUSI News.